Okay, so we had that example where I was talking about auto ignition. And so I talked about, I take this piston and I do work on it and I compress the gas, okay? And so I was making this with auto ignition, without auto ignition, to, you know, illustration. And so I said that I compress the gas adiabatically. So I do work on the system, right? For, this, for the gas inside, so we're going to say it's some ideal gas inside, for me bring it to state one, to state two, increase its pressure, work has to be done on that gas. Okay? I compress the gas. Okay? And this is no heat loss, or the net heat in and out is zero. Okay? So I have adiabatic compression. Now with that, with that so I have a polytropic process. And then I have PV to the N equals a constant. Now, if I have an ideal gas, and I say it's an adiabatic process, then I can do this PV to the gamma, where gamma is the ratio between specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume. Okay? So I can define this as PV to the gamma, and I know it's an ideal gas, so I can look up CP and CV for whatever gas it is. So if it's an ideal gas of air, there's a heat capacity, there's that ratio. If there's an ideal gas of argon, there's a different gamma. They're all pretty close, but you get the general idea. I can pick a gas, I have a gamma, I have it under conditions of temperature and pressure where it can act as an ideal gas, and then I can define this, this process. Okay, now just as a note, adiabatic means no heat transfer. So by definition, no net heat transfer. So I, you can kind of think of it as, in this case, if I go up and come back, what happens to the area under this curve? If it's reversible. AD back is a reversible process, okay? So if I go up and then I come back down the same line, what's the area under that curve for the cycle? Zero. Now I went through this example where I have the TS diagram and I showed that when you have a closed system and the area under the, the work in is zero, then what has, what, and you end up at, so what's delta U for the cycle? What's the work on or by? Zero. So what has to be the heat net heat and out? So I basically have no pure balance and that means that it's reversible, right? And if it's reversible, that means the surroundings have no memory what happened, so can I generate entropy in the surroundings? Then the surroundings can increase because it has no memory of it. Otherwise, that would be a violation of kind of the, the second law, right? You need to have some type of memory that time passed by for there to be the entropy increase. Okay, so you have that. I can draw the isotherms. So these are te constant temperature isotherms. And you can see that I went from, during that process, I increased the temperature. Now the question is, is one of two things can happen at that pressure. One, I can have auto ignition and go up, increase the pressure. Or two, I can lose some heat before I come back, okay? So I can press and then it's gonna come back. Now really this, if it goes down, it's a little smidget of a thing before it comes back, but I'm just exaggerating it. So, or I can have auto ignition and I can increase the temperature and pressure within, right? I put bananas in my engine. I ink, literally bananas, right? Put them in a pistons. So I increase the pressure and temperature within there. They will combust, okay? So the preppers do that. They get whatever organic things they can think of. They put them in their, you know, big diesel, you know, military, you know, trucks, and they use that as fuel. The world goes haywire, whatever. Anyways, so you can have auto ignition up and down. And so, if I don't have auto ignition, I end up coming down and then coming back. And so this is counterclockwise, so the network's on. I put in more work than it gave back to me. 
because some of this heat went to the surroundings. Or I can go the other way. I can have auto ignition and that's what you want in an engine. And then I put in so much work, but then the fuel does some more. And so then I come back and I have a net area. So network by clockwise. If I have an adiabatic process from state one to state two, then I destroy those adiabatic boundary conditions. I have heat loss. Can I take an adiabatic process back to state one? I have, I see shaking nose, I've seen, seen maybe. Adiabatic. Let's say I lose some heat and I come here. Can I take an adiabatic process path back to state one? If I'm right here. Okay. The answer is no. Gamma is defined for the system. I need a different gamma to get back. Okay. All I can do is I can come back to here and then I would need a constant pressure process back to the original state. So as soon as you destroy those adiabatic boundary conditions, you can never get back <coughs> to your initial state in one, in one adiabatic process step. I can have a different process, a polytropic process, with a different N or a different gamma, right? To get back there. So sometimes I ask, I, I ask this question related to this problem on the exam, and I have you solve for the work. And then I have two different, I have a bunch of different answers, and some of them add up to zero because I use gammas on both ways. Some don't.